too close. cold down here today. I really don't like winter. I've got to move to Florida. California. Florida. Definitely Florida. Hey everybody, Buddy Cosplay here. Welcome down to the Cosplay Shop. We're going to do a video today on making elf or hellboy type ear tips. Um, for my cosplay, uh, hellboy cosplay, I created not too long ago, which you'll see a picture on one of these sides here. Uh, I wanted to add some ear tips because Hellboy has pointed ears, kind of like an elf does. So I wanted to show you guys how I made it. It's a pretty simple process. I just used a little bit of clay, some liquid latex, and some baby powder, and it was done. So it's a really simple uh, project for you to do, and you can really change your look if you want to be an elf, or a demon, gargoyle, or Hellboy. Uh, before we do that, I did want to mention a couple things. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video that I've created a Patreon page. I am going to take that offline for the moment. I don't think that's the best way really to uh, connect with people. So I'm going to put that on hold. There was links in the description, um, but I'm going to go ahead and put that on hold. So um, if you're looking to support uh, our channel, my channel, or me, you can do so by checking out Cosplay University. Cosplay University is a membership site that is created specifically to help people learn how to cosplay with more access to me um, as kind of the, the thing that makes it different than just any other regular website. As you can see here, I'm not really good with figuring out where to put my hands. Uh, Jeff uh, is one of the founding members and him and I sat down, or he and I sat down for a Google Hangout and we chatted, we learned a lot about each other, some of the things that he did, some of the things that um, he had ideas on that I might have been able to offer some suggestions on and we had a really good time getting to know each other. So that's the kind of things we do at Cosplay University. So if you want to check that out, the link will be down below and the website is here. I don't know if I'm doing the hands right. It's right here. I'm going to give up with the hands thing. So now let's go ahead and get started with our Hellboy slash Elf ear tip tutorial. Here we go. We're going to mold our Elf ears or Hellboy ears out of some clay. This is just some oil-based clay and I'm just doing basic measurements using my finger. I know it's about an inch and that's about the same width as my ear and I'm also checking the thickness. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not breaking out any calipers or anything like that. So I'm going to make a couple, actually I think I make three in this video, uh, just for example purposes. But here's how I'm molding it, nothing fancy, just squishing it all together with my fingers. If you don't have clay, you can cut a piece of foam into this shape and do the same thing. So it's not necessary to have clay to do this. Once everything's out, I'm actually going to put some popsicle sticks into the bottom of mine because I'm going to hang them upside down and I'll get to why that is. We're going to make these out of liquid latex, and this is what I'm going to actually use to hang them upside down, which again, I'll tell you exactly why when I show you the image. But we're going to apply the liquid latex just to the tips of these clay molds that we're using, and we're going to use a toothbrush. Not a toothbrush, a paintbrush. And if you use the top of the brush, you'll ruin it. So I recommend using the bottom, because this liquid latex is very difficult to get out of a bristly brush. Put some latex in a cap and use the end just like this. And if you don't want to use the end, you can use a pencil. You can use the tip for a finer line, or you can even use the eraser side to apply it. And it's easy to remove. That's why this is a good way to do it. You just rub it and the latex comes right off and everything is clean once again. And here is why I hung them upside down. I've applied it and this allows any of the liquid latex to drip towards the point. We want the point to be as pointy as possible 
So hang them on something if you can, and then watch some Survivor. Because Jeff Probst rules. And once everything is dry, I did about five to seven layers on here. You can see it. See how thick it is. And the edges are a little thinner. I'm going to apply some baby powder like you do with any kind of latex prosthetic because you don't want the latex to stick to itself. It is very sticky and latex will stick immediately to latex and ruin everything. I'm going to start by pulling up the edge. A little bit of clay will stick as well. And as you pull it up, you also want to apply some baby powder or some baking flour or some cornstarch, whatever you want to use uh, just to keep the latex from sticking as you work. So every little bit you do, add a little powder to get that stickiness off until you can pull the entire piece off. It's going to be inside out, so go ahead and finish adding any powder you need and turn it right side in. And this is what a piece will look like when it's finished. To apply it, pull your hair back or put some pins in it, shave your head like I do, or cover it with a bald cap. You can also make a paper barrier, which is basically cutting a triangle out of a piece of paper and putting this on your head. You can have a friend hold it, or you can tape this around your head. We're going to trim up the edges to get some of the bumpy bits off so it's a little bit smoother. And this is how it's going to apply. Do a test fit and see if you need to trim it so it matches up to your ear a little bit better. We're going to apply this with liquid latex, but you can also use Prosade or Spirit Gum. And we're just going to work from one end to the other. I put it on both my ear and the piece, and then I attach it and hold it in place until it's dry. And then we'll move around to the back and do the exact same thing and secure it into place. And now we're going to move on to blending the edges. To do that, just take a small piece of a sponge or a makeup sponge and start adding thin layers just by patting it on. Use blow dryer to speed up the, the drying process and repeat by adding another layer. Dry that. Add another layer, dry that, and so on and so forth until the edges are hard to notice at all. We'll finish up by adding some baby powder so it doesn't stick. You're always wanting to do that. And then we'll remove any excess with a bigger brush and it is time to paint your pieces. Repeat that for the other side and you are done. And here's what they look like applied and painted for my Hellboy costume. Gotta drink a beer while you're doing it because why not your Hellboy? And there's the finished product. Hope this helps you. And it's on to the outro. It's it's still cold down here. So anyway, I hope that tutorial helps you out. Uh, it's, like I said before, it's a very simple process to create things like this. You can use the same types of principles in this video to create many types of latex prosthetics. Basically build something up with clay, several layers of latex over it, use some powder to keep it from sticking to itself, and then just adhere it. So if you need to make a nose, something besides ear tips, maybe you want bigger ear lobes, you want cheeks that are pointier, kind of like an elf, or fingertips, whatever you need to do, you can use these same kind of techniques to create some awesome latex prosthetics. So, I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay creative.